Radio Show. This is your host, Rocket. This is a video response to Dave Atkins. Checking in. Listen, Dave. A couple of points, Big Daddy. <laughs> You're right, man. So the Carl Vincent isn't exactly where they're saying it is, man. It's warfare. Don't you remember the rubber tanks in Calais? You fucking lie in war, dude. Why? Donald even said when he was doing his campaign, he wasn't going to spell out a lot of his war plans. Dude, you're getting super bitter and nasty. Just letting you know. And another thing I don't like, as a fan, man, if I bag on you or criticize you, don't call me a pedophile or some kind of Jewish piece of shit. Just because I, I did my research, my comments were based on jumping on the internet and fucking trying to look and looking on Facebook from the Carl Vincent, reading the Stars and Stripes, looking all over the place, reading the South Korean Times, their 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 popular newspaper, and translating it myself and trying to come up with a formula. You know, first of all, the Vincent is stopped stopped at Singapore and did some weird shit for the 50th anniversary, launching their armada. And now we have the Japanese sending their armada. Meanwhile, we're holding back. So my thing is, the scuttlebutt is, is that an aircraft carrier is going to get sunk. Now, I suspect it's the Ronald Reagan. I bet what they did with the Ronald Reagan is they took the nuclear power plant out when it was in the shipyard because they're going to sink it to the bottom of the ocean. That's what I think. Something happened. They did something, but they're making it sound. See, it's posted in, I don't have the source, but I saw it. It's posted right now that that the Reagan's joining this armada. They're making a fucking big-ass armada, dude. All right, Dave, Dave Atkin, okay? You know, your critics aren't automatically pedophiles. Low blow, bro, punched in the balls. Calling Donald a pedophile. I guess I haven't read the latest. Maybe he's busted, but boom, low bro. You, so what you're doing is you're putting a moral thing on politics. You know, I went and visited a friend of mine and he started fucking shouting and pointing his finger in my face when I brought up Trump. So you're doing the same thing, bro. Don't polarize our country. You talk that shit around me when I'm fucking locked and loaded in my fucking post-apocalypse camp. I fucking voted for the guy. So until I see some evidence that he is a pedophile, you know, I don't like that shit. Don't associate me with that. Don't smear me with that brush, bro. Slinging this pedophile accusation around all over the place. Point it at John Podesta. Don't point it at your audience, man. I don't like that shit. I know you weren't talking to me because I back up my complaints and I don't call you a cocksucker. I just say you're getting all worked up about the location of an aircraft carrier that's none of our fucking business. And in fact, all the people on board that are told to keep their mouths shut about where they are. I was in the Navy. We weren't allowed to tell our parents in a letter where we were going. And you know, Trump can lie and say, it's going here, it's doing this, it's doing that, and you're just going way overboard, dude. Sorry. They're making an armada. <laughs> and not to mention, aircraft carriers get hit by cruise missiles. Aircraft carriers are the fucking equivalent of infantry in World War I, okay? Aircraft carriers aren't shit anymore. They, they equal nothing. It's the fucking submarines, dude. And you know, we don't need an armada. Let's get something straight about North Korea, okay? <laughs> I'm going to explain something that's a really hard concept for people to get. It's a poker concept. It's act crazy. When you're weak, act crazy. And what do you mean? You say, well, you just do unpredictable shit. And eventually, even a formidable foe will bend because they just don't want to deal with you because you're fucking crazy. You do shit that's counterintuitive. You do shit that's bad for you even. You can't tell which direction you're coming. It's a, it's a poker strategy. That's what the TPK guys, that's what he's doing. They act crazy. Oh, what are they going to do next? You know, I'm a little older than you, Dave. I've heard the threats from North Korea my whole life. They're a paper tiger. Now, something that's different is the fact that China is supposedly amassing troops along the border. They're doing that to prevent 25 million refugees flooding into China. You know, they just could unify in one day. The wall fell down without the atomic bombs. And I remember all the hysteria 
When you were a little kid, right? When you were sucking at mommy's titty for milk, you know? For substance, because your little baby was tummy was empty and you were a growing little boy. I was a full grown man. And I already went through the Cold War shit with assholes out fucking scaring everybody. No matter where they go or what they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Here's Tony going to his Cub Scout meeting. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night. Duck and cover. Atta boy, Tony, that flash means act fast. You know, people have their sons aboard the Vincent. I don't know. It's good. Do what you want. I like the show and shit. <laughs> But if you start calling people that bag on you or criticize you a pedophile, then pff, I'm not going to watch anymore, man. Don't slur my president with pedophile until you got some fucking proof. Thanks for sticking up for me, Rock, and I ain't no pedophile. I haven't seen shit. And you know, who hates our president? Let's just go down a list, you know. You should be known by your associates. Okay, here we go. Who hates our president, right? BOM, right? Feminists with their pussy hats on, right? Right. The welfare people, which is the same thing as feminists, just ugly broads can't get a guy, right? Those ones, right? What? Who? The Zionists? You think they're for Trump? They spent so much money, clearly, on Hillary. I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. So he's married into it. I'll tell you what, uh, when Stalin took over, his daughter was married to a Jew. Didn't keep him from doing, just throwing the Jews out. And those fleeing Jews, the little troublemaking commies, are the ones that got fucking Frankfurt and Berlin all stirred up. That's where the fucking Nazis started from, from the kicked out Jews from the Soviet Union. And are there Jews making comments on videos as part of a structured room somewhere? I know I'm certainly not. <laughs> and my record speaks for itself. So I think you're right. I think something is going to happen. It's going to be interesting, but bagging on when and where the ship was to pat your back because somehow you've detected a falsity as far as public announcements regarding ship's movement. Uh, it's a fundamental, Dave. Come on. You were in the military, right? Anyway, this is Rocket from the Rocket Radio. I guess I'm going to keep doing videos. Take care, everybody. To all preparation of one of the meals which was prepared in a modern day cave. One new meal consisted of the following food. Canned chicken. Peas. And if you're caught outside during a, a nuclear explosion, decontamination may be necessary. You may have to burn or bury all your clothes and food, and afterwards you should wash thoroughly. John, uh, let me interrupt you here just a moment. I have some film here that I think will describe what might happen, and we'll describe a little about the atom. So, Joey, why don't you catch the lights and we'll try it, okay? they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Here's Tony going to his Cub Scout meeting. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night. Duck and cover. Atta boy, Tony, that flash means act fast. Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing the atomic bomb explodes. 
Duck and cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. First, you duck. 